Hey guys, it's Em. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back here. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what videos you want to see in the future, and without further ado, let's get into the video. going to be like a first impression. So for primer, I'm using this one for primer. I'm going to be using this one from Almay. This is a 5-in-1 and it's supposed to refine, correct, perfect, hydrate, and mattify your skin. So let's just give it a try. It's hot, but it's alright. And it feels weird, but I'm just going to apply it to my skin and hopefully it will mattify Today guys, I'm using the brand new Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. This is a comfort matte foundation infused, infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It's transfer resistant, medium coverage. It's oil free, 14 hour wear, oil controlling, photo friendly, and shine free. So, <coughs> excuse me, I have dry skin so I don't know how this is going to work and I don't know if this, we're just going to use it. The packaging is so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. And this seems, it smells really, really, really good on the skin. And for the, I'm going to use a brush today. I'm using this one from Ulta. This is another first impressions. It's a buffing brush and I really don't use brushes. But we're just going to, we're just going to buff it into the skin. And hopefully it will match my skin. guys so um the foundation's not bad it doesn't feel heavy on the skin i didn't like how this brush applied it it's the brush is like nice and stuff it didn't leave streaks which i really do like and appreciate so for like my first impression um it's not bad i'm gonna see how it holds up through the day let's move on to concealer for concealer i'm using this it cosmetics bye bye under eye illumination full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer and we're just gonna apply this to my under eyes and see what happens Alright guys, so the concealer is blended out. It's super thick and it feels really dry under my under eyes, so I don't know if I am the best fan with it. But we're going to set it with some Bare Minerals powder. This is Mineral Veil, so it doesn't crease. And yeah, so we're just going to set that. just going to put some in my cap. And we're just going to take an Eager Tools powder brush to set our under eyes and just so they don't crease. So my under eyes feel very, very soft. So I actually really do like this powder so far. And we're going to see as long as this doesn't crease, it will be good. And for the rest of the face, I'm taking this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Illumination Powder. And this is in the shade Radiant Translucent. You could also use this to set your face. It has a nice size mirror and then a little sponge if you're on the go. I'm just going to take the same brush and really pack it on my whole face. And yeah, this is supposed to be really good. So see how it holds up. So I'm just going to do one side and then leave the other. Gave me a little bit more coverage. You guys can barely tell the difference but you could see um, I could see really close up in my mirror that it did give me more coverage. Um, so I have this one from Flower and it's the Flower Blush Powder Blush in the shade Wild Rose. Now this is very very pink and I really usually don't go this pink, or I have this one from Milani in the shade Romantic Rose. I've already used this. I'm obsessed with this blush, and yeah. So I might mix the two together. We're just going to see how pigmented this is. Let me swatch it. Alright, so it's very pink, but I don't think it'll be that bad. So we're just going to take it on a little brush, tap it in, tap off any excess or fallout that there may be, and we're just going to apply it right to the apples. It's very pink, which... Alright guys, for the eyeshadow, I'm going to use this from Maybelline. This is the Blush Nudes palette from Maybelline. And I've never used this before. I've swatched... No, actually I have. One of my friends has this. And I've used some of the shades, and they seem really nice. But we're really going to test it out today. This white shade, and I'm just going to use my finger. Because for lid colors, it's really okay. Um... It has shimmer, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it seems like it's really blending out. A tiny bit matte, I'm not sure. Swatch. It has, I don't know, 
But we're just going to take this and just apply it to the crease. Um, we'll see how the color pays off. Shade right here. Um, just dip into the palette. Not too much fallout, which I really am happy about. There's some pigment come through. Bronzy shade, which I'm dying to use. We're just going to swatch it. It has really nice pigment, and we're going to apply that to the lid. So I will say one thing. There's not a lot of good crease shades in this palette, but there is a lot of good um, shades for, like, your lid. So I'm taking the second shade in the palette right here and applying that to the lid as well. Um, I do like the sh shades for your lid, but I don't... It does have nice pigment. There's that that shadow that I used on my lid. It does have, it does have some really nice pigment. Um, it just doesn't have a lot of shades that you could use. Crease. Like there's not really good crease shades, but that's alright. You could always just use a bronzer for that. Here's the eyes, really close up and personal. There's not this one from Tarte. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I've had I have used this once or twice before and. It really does give your lashes volume, and I'm actually really going to see how I like it. I'm on this side. On this side, this is my normal lashes, and then on that eye is the Tarte Lights, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I really do like, it gave my lashes a lot of volume. I've been matte liquid, liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Nude Flush, and I'm really excited to try this out. I've never tried anything from this Maybelline Matte Collection. Um, it looks like this. I like the applicator. It's really, really nice, and we're just going to apply it to our lips. It feels so creamy. So this is the lipstick. It hasn't completely dried matte, so we will see how it wears throughout the day. But thank you so much for watching this video. This is the final really easy natural look with first with my first impression thoughts on some of the products. Um, for the most part, I really did like all the products I tried. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you made it this far. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what videos you want to see next. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, bye!